hey guys and welcome back to the channel hope you are all doing well so most of the students uh, from the seventh semester were asking me about uh, important questions for the subjects and passing package right so i am coming up with the non-traditional machining ntm which is for the mechanical stream students so its subject code is bme 755a so sorry for mentioning here uh, the fifth semester it is not the fifth semester it is seventh semester okay this is the silly mistake which i have done here so yeah so this is the seventh semester passing package and not only a passing package i'm telling you friends this is the scoring subject only thing is if you are able to remember you know uh, the applications limitations and advantages for traditional and non-traditional machining same will go for the other modules also there are different types of machines but the applications will remain the same limitations will remain the same advantages will remain the same only thing is you should you know uh, you should be able to write down uh, some own words as far as application part as far as limitation part as far as advantage part part is concerned just try to shuffle the words that is it okay so i believe you can score more than 90 marks in ntm subject so let's uh, start with the model first where we have the super important questions and repeated questions like a differentiate between traditional and non-traditional machining most of the times vt is asking this question and uh, you know uh, the need for non-traditional machining like justify why non-traditional machining is essential in modern industry and classify NTM processes based on the nature of energy. Discuss the different energy sources and their roles in material removal. Explain the physical parameters and process capabilities of NTM, the most important one. And list the industrial applications where NTM is preferred over conventional methods. Mention the, the general disadvantages or limitations of uh, you know, NTM process over there. Okay, so if you are able to remember uh, the application part, limitation part and advantages part you are already having the upper hand on the uh, on the ntm process so definitely you will go for the another modules also no need to just buy hard the concepts okay only try to understand what is there in the model first similarly you can go for another modules so from model second we have with a neat sketch expand the construction and working of ultrasonic machining discuss the effect of amplitude frequency and static load on the material removal and uh, explain the characteristics and functions of the every slurry used in usm discuss the tool materials and tool feed mechanism used in usm explain the working of abrasive jet machining with a neat systematic diagram and one thing i want to mention over here is your focus should be on the diagram diagrammatic part much more than the theoretical part okay once you have an idea once you have a picture in your mind about the uh, like topics abrasive jet machining usm okay all other processes you should be very uh, strong in remembering the diagrams and where are the points which is mentioned over there okay in the diagrams you have to be very careful you have to be very diligent okay so then only you can be able to write down uh, the theory uh, in your own words okay while remembering the diagram part diagrammatic part as diagram consists of five marks and theory consists of five marks if a question is coming 10 marks right so next we have analyzed the effect of stand uh, stand of distance sod and abrasive types on AGM performance. Describe the mechanism of material removal in AGM. Uh, briefly explain the principle and applications of WGM. Okay. Coming to model third, we have here elucidate the working of electrochemical grinding ECG with neat sketch. Characterize the following elements of chemical machining. Uh, Itchants and maskens. Uh, illustrate the chemistry of ECM process. Describe chemical milling and chemical blanking process with a neat schematic representation. Sometimes VT will ask the difference in between. Okay. So next we have explained the process parameters of ECM like current density, tool feed rate, gap between tool and workpiece, flow rate of electrolyte. With a neat sketch, explain electrochemical honing process uh, and also write advantages and limitations of the process. List the unique advantages of ECM. Next, we have model four uh, with a neat sketch explain mechanism of uh, metal removal in EDM process. What is dielectric fluid? Explain the desirable properties of a dielectric fluid medium used in EDM process. Also, list the different uh, dielectric fluids. Okay, with a, a sketch explain working of plasma arc machining, most important one, PAM. Explain the safety precaution in PAM. Write the applications of EDM process. Characterize traveling wire EDM process with systematic representation. And distinct, distinguish between transferred and non-transferred arc plasma torch mode of operation write down applications advantages and limitations of pa 
medium as i earlier told you you have to be focused on the application part advantage part and limitation part so the game is over okay ntm is all around okay uh, the advantage part application limitation part okay so no need to worry about the subject you will be able to score more than 90 marks i am giving you the surety and model fifth we have with a neat sketch explain working principle of laser beam machining what are the advantages and disadvantages of lbm process list the limitations and applications of lbm process explain with the help of neat diagram principle of electron beam machining what are the advantages disadvantages and applications of EBM process and last one we have elucidate process parameters of electron beam machining so this is all about your ntm subject okay only two things you have to be focused very focused one thing is you need to write down the uh, you know theory in your own words whatever you have understood from the diagrammatic part okay so much more important is diagrammatic part which should be which you should be diligent about okay next thing is your main focus should be on the model first where you are covering all those uh, application part advantage part and limitation part that will definitely help you in proceeding for the another modules so this is all about the scoring package so i wish you all the best for your examinations dear and make sure you will share this video to all your friends and batchmates thank you